Alright, this video is showing you how to take apart a Seagate Free Agent GoFlex drive. It's actually pretty straightforward. Um, there's really only three pieces. So first thing you have to do is just pull the base off straight out. It's only held in by three prongs and the SATA connector, as you can see here. Once the base is off, you'll, you can take a look at the case and see which side of the case is the clipped in side. Then all you have to do is just take a flat blade I just coat mine, I cover mine with duct tape just so it's a little less likely to scratch up the case. Just take a look, once you find out which side it is, you can try and loosen it from the back, but odds are you just want to go in from the side. This way you will crack most of the clips, but the case is fine and it's not a big deal anyways. Maybe there's another way to do it, I haven't seen it yet. So just keep going along the side of the case and just crank it open and you'll feel the clips give uh, you'll hear it too um, there it's held in by clips on all four sides the back's a little hard to get out so once you get three sides off you can just pry the last side off and just get three sides off and then just pull it back a little Once it's out, you'll notice actually those clips turned out pretty well. Um, and you'll see that the drive itself isn't held into the case by anything. So the drive at this point is completely loose. And you can just put your hand in and pull the case and the tray right out of the, out of the box. After that, all you have to do is just take the rubber pads off. The rubber pads are holding in four of the screws that are holding the drive to the tray. So all you have to do is just pull them off of the screws and the backing. And then just take all four screws off. All in all, this is a pretty easy case to take apart. Uh, once you see it here, I'm sure you can do it yourself. And also, after you take the four screws off, you'll notice that by the SATA connector side, actually, I'll show you in a little bit, there's a little piece of spring metal that just holds the case in. So all you have to do is just slide the drive forward from the tray to get it out. And there you have it. That's all you have to do take the Seagate drive out of the tray.